that team as a unit? Just how happy were you after that game? I was, I was very excited. I was happy for the kids. You know, I was happy for the players. Um, I thought we did a really good job uh, playing together as a team. You know, I thought our punter did a great job of, of dropping the ball down there, and, and uh, you know, then we executed in the backed up situation. Obviously, the, the job that the offensive line and the backs and the offensive staff did uh, running the ball and, and, and controlling the clock was huge. So uh, it was nice for us to put a win together as a as a team. Those turnovers, um, you know, how, how much did that do for their morale and just? You know, to keep going forward here. What does that mean? That was great. I mean, we want, we want to take the ball away. We've, we've been we've been good at it. You know, we've we've, we've done a good job of taking the ball away. Um, I think you know we're probably second or third in the country right now in cause fumbles and, and you know in top ten or twelve in, in takeaways. So I mean, that's important. That usually wins games. You know, the games in Georgia Tech at Georgia Tech we didn't have any any takeaways, and you see what the result is. So in our last two weeks we had three in each game, and, and, it, and it certainly helps. So we got to keep doing that. We got to keep you know taking the ball away and take take pride in that. Denzel Denzel was named a, a semifinalist for the Budkus Award. I'm sure everybody's happy he came back for senior year. What has that meant to the team? And um, you know his his play also recently. It's great. Uh, it's, you know it speaks to it speaks to his career. Uh, I don't think it just speaks to this year. It speaks to what he's done. That he's gotten better each year. Um, it speaks to the fact that you know uh, there's a lot of good reasons to come back. You know, but like like those, you know, to have team goals and, and expand your individual goals. So, it's, you know, it's great for him. It's great for our team. Where are you guys making the biggest strides on defense right now? Coach says he sees you getting better week to week to week. Where, where do you see the most improvement? Uh, that's a good question. You know, one of the things that, you know, obviously doesn't stand out in the stats, but we know here is I think every, every, every week this year uh, in eight games, we've had less mental errors uh, each week since the beginning of the season. Uh, while playing more guys, so to me that's that's a, a, a good sign that the guys are doing their job, playing the defense, and we're and we're bringing young guys along. So to me, overall, we're you know we've improved our depth and, and our our knowledge and our execution of the scheme. I think that's that's the biggest thing. In North Carolina, obviously the quarterback uh, Williams, yeah, <laughs> just scary well, guy. He's a, he is, and they're, they're they're the you know they're the best team we played, um, no doubt on offense and um, tremendous skill. And obviously it goes with him. He's he's an awesome uh, dual threat. Uh, you know, it's a great challenge for us. Hey, Mark, are there some guys you could say these are the guys who have made the biggest strides from game one to now? Like, are there a few guys you could point to that, that you just are really impressed with just how much they developed? I'd probably be leaving some people out, you know, but um, I think I think one guy that really stands out to me is Kirby. You know, this is the first year that he's really started, you know, and, and uh, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, circumstances force guys to play, and, you know, he missed the first six games of his freshman year. And the first game he played was at Notre at, at Chicago against Notre Dame. You know, sent up, you know, he had five or six games to get his, you know, get his feet wet that year. And then last year, you know, he played as a backup. And this is really the first year he started. You know, and uh, you know, sometimes you got you forget about that as a coach. You know, but I think he's really uh, improved every week. He's playing both positions for us. He's playing the Mike and the Will linebacker, which are different and require, you know, knowledge of the defense and. and uh, just his practice habits, uh, the example that he's setting, the leadership that he's doing, is, it's really it's really fun to watch. It's always fun to watch guys improve, but but that's that's been one that's really stood out to me. What about Fentress? He's a guy who had yeah. nine tackles, a, a walk, a former walk on, yeah. I guess. You know, I mean. Yep, I'm not going to call him that, but no, I, I, <laughs> I love the guy, man. He's he's been unbelievable. He's been uh, he's been fun to coach since he's been here, and you know I've always challenged him. You know I've always challenged him since he was a young player here that you know you can you can be more than a special teams guy you know you can be a starter here don't 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 sell yourself short you know you're, you're tough you're smart uh, you're competitive uh, don't ever take a back seat to anybody and uh, he very well um, um, I just I just knew at some point that uh, he was going to be a guy that's going to be hard to keep out of the lineup. Has he been your best safety? Well you know I have to, I have to go back and I think Deion's played mm -hmm. consistently well all year I mean some of those tackles that Deion's making right now are, are, are again you want to talk about fun to watch right I mean just those are plays he wasn't making a year ago. He wasn't tackling that way now. I mean, he's holding guys up and, and, and taking the ball away from them on numerous occasions. You know, so just another guy that's improved. But I thought he's he's, do, he's doing a nice job. And, and again, that, that's the part that's fun as a coach is to, is to see guys improving and have and have a success. How about Tracy?